Hi guys, Frugal Gal here, doing a one-on-one, -on -one, camera facing me kind of video. Some of you guys like these, so I try to do one every once in a while. So anyway, I am very tired. If I look tired, I'm tired. That is why this afternoon I'm having a cup of coffee. Isn't that cute? I can put your little head there and then you got your apron on. Isn't that cute? But the reason is, and if you don't want to hear me talking, because some people don't like to hear me talking, fast forward and you'll get to the jewelry that I'm going to uh, do, okay? I'll just warn you. Go ahead. Bye. See you there. Okay. I'm tired because, as some of you know, I have insomnia. And I was doing better on my insomnia. I was getting a little bit of sleep. But then I had another health issue come up. Well, not come up. But I had to go deal with it. And they put me on a medication. And I started not sleeping. My insomnia picked back up. Okay. So, I'm like, oh. So, I looked at the side effects of this medication. Of course, what is it? It causes insomnia lovely it also causes um another annoying side effect which is frequent urination which just let me say it's a good thing i'm awake at night because i'm up about six times going to the bathroom so you know i don't want to wet the bed so maybe one works for the other but i have to take the medication so just want to sleep i guess i'll just have cups of coffee in the afternoon but they don't wake me up so i'm just craving coffee Okay, I went to Salvation Army today, and I got, um, I had a customer card. My Salvation Army, I don't know if every Salvation Army does this, they give you a card, and it has um, little squares on it with dollar increments, like $1, $5, $10, and once you fill that card up, I think it's a total of $80, once you fill that card up, and it ha they punch it every time you spend whatever money amount you spent, they punch it, hole punch it. Once you get that uh, full, they sign the back of it, dated, it, and it's worth $10. So I had a $10 card to spend, so I went and spent it. So what I got was a pair of PJs, which are cute, but I couldn't, I don't have them down here. They're in the dirty clothes, so they're Golden Girls PJs. They're really awesome. I'll have to, pajama pants, I'll have to show them to you. And then I got a jewelry jar. Of course I did, a jewelry jar. Now there seems to be a lot of um, watches in here, which I have a watch battery changing kit. And watch batteries so I don't mind there was only two jewelry jars there this was the they were both the same price they're eight dollars which I didn't spend anything on because I turned in my card but this one seemed to have more in it more value for my money but that's not the one I'm going to open up we're going to say that for another time the one I'm going to open up is the one you might remember from the other day that I bought two at a thrift store and they were only a dollar fifty a piece remember that and I already opened the other dollar fifty one you you will by this time I get this one uploaded. You have seen the other one. We found some great things in there. So let's open this dollar fifty jar. I gotta go back and get some more because it's a pretty deep, I mean for a dollar fifty, just for the fun of it, right? So uh, what they've done is this is all jewelry they have individually marked, and I guess nobody bought it, so they started putting it in jars. So let's see what we got in here. And I'm gonna do it this way so you guys can see. Um I don't know if I have enough light, but I didn't want to turn on more light. I got a headache. Um, this I probably won't keep. It's just a little kid's necklace. It's on a cord and the cord's really dirty. And this is like, I don't know, it's kind of cute. It's got, it almost looks like My Little Pony on it. It's got some kid's jewelry in it. That would be like a kid's bracelet. It's okay, if I get enough kid's jewelry, I can put it you know, together. There we go. I can make a little jewelry jar for a kid. Necklace. All that would go in a kid's jewelry thing. Oh, uh, what's this? A little ring. It's got a little adjustable ring. That's cute. For a kid. Yeah, I think most of this is like what I would consider kid's jewelry. Snowflake. This almost looks like a frozen necklace. The movie Frozen. Come on, let's get to the grown-up stuff. I don't even know what that is. I think it's supposed to be... Ooh, where am I at? Oh, okay, ring. Oh, there might not be good things in here. Yeah, I think they put a lot of kids stuff. Well, here's a... Uh, here is My Little Pony. Um, a nice little bracelet. 
Anybody that ever sent some kids jewelry? You got a little grandkid or young child? What's this? This looks like it might be broke. It's a necklace, but it's, oh. It goes like this. It's not broke. I don't think it's broke. Maybe it is broke. Yes, it is. No, yes, it is. Well, yeah, it is, because there's no attachment thing there. It's not too hard on it. It's going to look good if it's broke, though. Ooh, here's a necklace on a cord, and it's a, it's a unicorn. Um, pendant. And this thing. Oh, let me turn on the other light. That's marked on the back. It says SISK. S-I-S-K and then 4L. You guys can see that. I don't know what that means. It's magnetic. It's not magnetic. Maybe I should check it to see if it's silver. That might just be a company name. Look at these cords that are dirty. I like this pendant on this cord. That pendant's pretty. I'll take that off. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? It's magnetic, so I would take that pendant off there. So this I wouldn't keep. I might... I don't even think I'll keep that pendant. And then we just have a chain. I call those... These are ball chains. I don't know. They remind me of BBs. Let's see if you only spent $1.50 fifty on this. You don't mind throwing some stuff away. Here is a dirty, very dirty, beaded, triple stranded, um, old fifty style necklace, black and white. This needs to be cleaned up. It's in decent shape. It's not marked Hong Kong or Japan like most of them are on the shepherd's hook. But I would clean that, even if you wanted to take that apart and use the beads. Okay, we got a few things left in here. Not as great as the first one, but hey, you live, you learn. Woodchuck hard cider. Well, okay. I wish they would really learn that I don't consider, I don't know if you guys do, I don't consider key rings jewelry. I just, I hate when I find them and stuff. Handcrafted in Middlebury, Vermont. Somebody want a key chain? We got a copper tone uh, necklace. Uh, the ring, the circles on it, the rings are hammered like brutalist. That's decent. And then we just have this, which is I would say because somebody would want it. It, it look at all those seed beads. Isn't that pretty? Like they're silver, and it's got the. Somebody always wants these, and I don't know if they take them apart and use the seed beads or what, but that would be safe. And what I saw through the thing is this, and it is a brooch. Now, what do you think? You see how these don't, this, these aren't, um, they have rhinestones in them. Or they were supposed to have rhinestones in them, or they're supposed to all be empty like that. They almost look like they were all meant to be empty like that but they're indented in I think I can't tell sometimes with my eyes I have to get something pointy and like put it in there yeah they're all dented in but they're all gone Remember, it's supposed to I just sell it like that I think it's supposed to be like that what do you think see what I mean these they're dented in were they supposed to have rhinestones in them, every single one of these you think there'd be one left or is it just supposed to be like that I like it like it is. So a dollar for a dollar. What did I say? Dollar fifty. It was worth the brooch. All right. So not as great as the first one, but still. Hey, okay. I don't know if I'll keep this kid's jewelry. I've kept kid's jewelry before, and nobody's bought it. So by the time you see this video. It'll probably be in the trash. I don't think I'm going to keep the kids' jewelry. So I really didn't get that much to keep, but oh well. You live, you learn, you have fun opening them. So thanks for joining me, guys. Hope I didn't give you too much information there at the beginning of the video, but 
Let's see. I gotta show you something wait before I go. So I'm at the Dollar Tree look. Pink flamingo. Pink dispenser. Isn't it cute? And I'm at the checkout. I have to get some more before they run out of them and I'll never have them back. I guess you could re you can refill it. Yeah, you can refill it, so. Okay, I like pink flamingos. I'm tacky. I'm tacky like that. Alright, I will let you guys go. Please, 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 before you leave, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And share my video. And bring some people over to subscribe. Appreciate ya. Thank you for joining me.